Hello, my crafty friends. Welcome to my studio. It's Lorette. I'm very excited today to share something with you that I recently completed. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time finishing this. This is the Pink Shabby Trifold Flip Through, and it holds a lot of journaling cards. Um, so there was a, a video uh, earlier today on Monday morning um, of how I made this beautiful little flip uh, trifold. And first of all, before I get going, I want to apologize for the quality of that video. Um, it was kind of a disaster from start to finish, and I thought long and hard about whether to release it. And then I realized that I always, always um, want to be uh, real with you guys. And I don't want to do videos that are edited and have music or that are dead quiet. That's just not me. Um, I do enjoy some of those videos, but I always prefer to hear someone's thought process. Um, I love it when they giggle and they laugh and, you know, they're laughing at themselves and each other and us and, you know, we're laughing with them. And, um, those are the ones I enjoy the most. And those are the kinds of videos that I wanted to put out. Um, so I went ahead and posted it. Probably won't be one of my most successful videos, but it is the only way you will see how this was made um, because I'm done with this project after the flip through um, at some point, probably late in the week. Depends if I can get my act together. It will go um, into my shop, so it will be up for sale. Um, not today uh, because I have things I have to finish so that I have a good variety of things to put in this shop. I don't want to just put one or two things in there. So I'll try to give you guys a heads up, but I am, well, this really is your heads up. Please go look for at the shop towards the end of the week. I'm going to say probably around Friday, maybe Thursday, Friday. That tends to be when my daughter and I get ourselves together and we, and we get it done. I know she has a busy creative week this week. Um, designing some new kits. So, um, and I just have lots and lots of ephemera to finish up and get into the shop. And then I have to, you know, do all the, the photographing and the write-ups and that all takes quite a bit of time. So anyway, I, I want to thank you all for hanging in there with me. And I want to remind you to hit like and notification and subscribe and comment. I'm still going to be giving things away and I've noticed the comments have dropped way, way down. Um, so those of you who have kept right up on it, you're the ones who are going to be really eligible for all the giveaways. So, all right, let's get busy. Uh, this is my pretty little pink shabby um, trifold and uh, I, I've i wrapped it with a, a beautiful little ribbon. It's got some gold threading through it. Uh, it's just It's just a very, very pretty little ribbon. Um, and here it is. This is our, our beautiful new piece. This is the back. This is the front. It's got a lot of laces and pearls. Uh, there's bits of ribbon. I mean, bits of lace throughout, bits of pearls. It's also got a beautiful little rose applique. And it has three full pockets that if you were watching the video this morning, you will see, you know, how and where those came from. And each pocket has a little journaling card in it. Um, both inside the pocket and then right behind it um, there's another one now I did not decorate these because this is a very very tight fit and I was very concerned that if I put a lot of stuff on it you know it just they wouldn't fit back in the pocket so there are six of those this little pocket um, trifold journal holder has 20 removable pieces meaning the things that come out so there are six journaling cards there there is a seventh up here, and this is the journaling card already for you to write in. Again, not decorated um, because it would make it too difficult to get them in and out of the pocket. The decoration is going to be on, on the base pieces of this. So we open to our first page, and we have a beautiful little pocket filled with laces and pearls and a little applique. We also have um, lots of little, little things to, to journal on. Another piece here. And this beautiful little tag, which um, has uh, collage pieces on it. This isn't a flat card. It does have collage pieces. It's got lace again, some lovely ribbon, and uh, another applique piece. Again, all of these things are can be written on and um, for journaling. So this is kind of a journaling pocket. It's not an actual journal, but it's a pocket full of journaling cards. Again, it's that same piece from the front because it is a trifold, as you could see here. Now, I have a little notepad here with a little circle, 
And everything in this is from a jewel design. It is from her pink shabby welcome kit, as well as a number of her other kits. And those will be, um, those are listed in this morning's video. So this airs today on Monday, the 17th. Um, and again, it has a lovely little journaling card in it, um, both front and back. And so it services both sides. So plenty of room to journal your thoughts, plus little pieces of paper to journal on. Um, it's got some lovely little tabs. It's got the lace again. The back page has a beautiful little butterfly in a window. Again, this is from a jewel design. Everything here is from a jewel design. So we have a little applique and we have some lace and we've got some cutouts that are on here. Then you flip it over, we're back to the front page and the middle pages. So how this lays is it goes like this and this, or you flip it over and it goes like this and this. And uh, we have another journaling card that shows both on the butterfly side and on that side. Isn't that sweet? Just love it. And you'll notice that this goes along with this. I tried to make it. And then we have three little journal cards that again come from a jewel design. One of her other kits, her um, pretty pink rose, I believe, or pink shabby rose. More lace, more pearls, more applique. Again, applique, lace, and pearls. You can see the theme for this. Um, this is a nice little journaling card that's collage, and I made this one. Um, it is uh, collaged. And then we have these two pieces. I will tell you, and then we have some vellum pockets. Again, we see that journaling card. We're going to see the front side of this and the back on the other side. So it has 20 pieces. If you add all these little bits and pieces and the big cards up, there are 20 pieces here. So this was a labor of love. <laughs> And laughter and goofiness and you name it. It was um, a struggle, but well worth it. I, I think she came out beautifully um, and she's very weighty. She has a good amount of heft to her. You, you can feel the number of layers. Um, it's a wonderful little piece. It'd be a fabulous gift for someone who likes to journal in snippets. You know, not everybody wants to do a big old full journal, but they want a place to, to put some memories or thoughts and I think this is really great for that. Um, it is actually going to have some other pieces with it. Um, there is another piece that I'm currently finishing up, uh, which I probably, I don't know that there'll be a flip through of it, but there could be. I, you know, I never know from day to day what I'm going to do, but um, uh, so these are all of our little, our little goodies. So I want to thank you all for coming along and checking out the flip through. This is just a short little video to accompany this morning's video. Um, I want to thank you for coming off to, out to the studio today to see my flip through. And, you know, again, this is the pink shabby trifle flip through. I'll try to list it that way when it does, you know, go into the shop so that you can, um, You'll know which one it is. And it, it's actually going to have another um, fold, uh, uh, kind of a sort of a tri-fold envelope. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but um, with it, there's going to be a set that, that goes all together. So again, the perfect gift. Um, Mother's Day has come and gone, but there's always birthdays and graduations and things like that. So watch for this in my shop late in the week, um, which is a jewel design. I do share a shop with my daughter. She is the digitals. I'm the physical things. And it is under Vintage Paper Girl. So my shop, uh, part, my part of the shop is Vintage Paper Girl Collection. My Instagram is Vintage Paper Girl. So if you want to see what I'm, some of the things I've made in the past or things I'm working on in the future or, you know, anything like that, you can find me on Instagram under Vintage Paper Girl, which is why I always open, you know, Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. So thanks for coming along, everyone. Have a fabulous day. Hugs and kisses. See you soon. Bye-bye.